All right, Shalom, Shalom. We're the real Hebrew Israelites coming day in and day out to prophesy the downfall of Babylon the Great, which is America. First off and foremost, all praises, honor, and glory be unto Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Wakar Kadash. Double honors to thee, all the apostles of great millstone, and salutations to the elect, whoever you may be. This is the brother Shapaya from GMI Chicago coming at you again with a quick lesson through the spirit and the power of Yahweh by Shem uh, Today's lesson is uh, basically going into, you no, know, it's an in transit, but um, I want to talk about uh, the wild the olive branch, uh, Gentiles, strangers, things of that nature. All right. And this is, um, this concept is very um, tricky the most because if the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai is dwelling upon you, you will understand that, and you, and you will understand within the context that sometimes when it's talking about Gentiles, all right, it's talking about actual heathens, which are the other nations, right? Because the word Gentile is just a word, uh, Wyom, which means nations, all right? Um, in which, you know, each tribe is considered its own nation. And then you have the word Gentile that's talking about an actual heathen, all right? Same thing with stranger, Gar and Nakar, okay? One is actually an Israelite foreigner. Another one is an actual person that's uh, a non-blooded uh, Israelite, if you will, okay? So this concept is hard to be understood for some people, all right? But when you actually read the scriptures, the Lord said he was going to never forsake his people. He wasn't going to give his honor to another, all right? And all the prophecies, for the most part, when it comes to salvation, well, all, not for the most part, all the prophecies dealing with salvation is only to Israel, man. Like I said, ain't no other nations about to slide up in here and get blessed with Israel. No. What well, one nation have not had her part in her spoiling? All you nations are guilty. Psalms the 83rd chapter. Alright? So when you when you dig into this topic stranger or strangers okay and it's talking about the Lord dealing with them according to salvation well guess what? Those are the Israelite foreigners. Matter of fact we are all Israelite foreigners. All right? I don't care what way you want to look at it, man. The part of being a stranger happened to us all. Hey, Ephesians uh, 2 explains that. Now, the things written four times for our learning, but Ephesians 2 said, Remember ye in times past that we were Gentiles according to the flesh, which we were. That on, hey, on this side, in this day and age, that scripture happened to every single last Israelite on this planet Earth, man. All right? Therefore, thus, Isaiah 14 can happen. Uh, what's the other one? Uh, they grabbed the skirt of him that was a Jew, right? That happened to all of us. We all had to go through that, man. All right? We all had to go through that. Okay? Okay? We didn't know who the hell we were. Therefore, that made us Gentiles. As a matter of fact, that made us uh, 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 heathens or Gentiles because we was carried away by what? Dumb idols. All right? We done ran from mountain to hill, believing in, to sh believing shit that had nothing to do with us, giving in to false uh, doctrines, false uh, religions, things of that nature. Okay? We were Gentiles, man. So guess what? That wild olive tree, that happened to us all, all right? At one point in time, we all were broken off. And at one point in time, we had to get engrafted back in. That prophecy happened to all of us, man, okay? So you want to know who the Gentiles were or and are? It's you Israelites, man. We didn't, we, well, in the context of Gentile dealing with, you know, the Gentiles being saved, or things of that nature, right? The Lord then scattered us to all these other countries amongst the uh, heathen, 
So what happened after years and years of captivity? All right, some Israelites took on the customs of those other nations. Read Maccabees, the first chapter, man, the great Hellenization of Jake. And even before that, Jake wanted to run around and be like the other nations. All right, going way back to Egypt. Okay. So we were strangers. We were Gentiles. And guess what? We're still strangers because we're, hey, we're not in the land of Israel. All right. We're a stranger in this land that we're in now, man. All right. We were brought over here in captivity. Hey, even Issachar, and you know, a lot of this land was Issachar's. Even Issachar is a stranger in this land because now Esau deems him to be a, uh, what, what, what do you call it? Um, not a refugee, an immigrant. Okay. So any nigga talking about the Gentiles can be saved. Guess what? The only Gentiles that's going to be saved are Israelites by blood, and they have the spirit of Yahweh by Shemuel Shai. That's it. Not no other fucking nation, man. And if any other nation do get saved, all right, that saving, all right, is only for slavery. So they ain't getting saved, all right? They got to drink that cup. All right, we about to put all these other nations through hell, man, for the shit they did to us. Hey, for the iniquity of their forefathers, man. So you, how how is any of these other goddamn nations going to get peace or get uh, uh, salvation? That's for Israel. I, I was at Isaiah 44, Israel, my elect. The Lord, hey, the Lord didn't call the whole world as elect. When you read uh, Second Edges, the Lord said he, he has one favorite plant, one favorite land, one favorite people, one favorite vine, so on and so forth. The Lord has his favorites. Simply put. And guess what? The Lord didn't favor you heathens for salvation. He favored your ass for destruction. A, a, a vessel fitted for destruction, man. Like Romans 9 goes into, man. That's all you other fucking nations, man. I, I'm ready to go. It's Saturday. I'm ready to go outside and preach, man. Call a lawyer. Me how about shit? Me how shy, man. But the Lord ain't saving these assholes. You, you think Esau going to go unpunished? Surely he gets to drink of the cup. So that don't even make sense. If you guys are saying Edomites can make it, other nations can make it. Where are they? Hey, when and where will they serve their punishment if they're going to get saved? That would make the Lord a liar, man. But the Lord ain't a liar. It's ye men that are liars, man. Let God be true and every man a liar, man. You, a lot of you niggas are going off, man. Simply put. Right, we all were Gentiles, man. We all were that olive branch broken off and came back. All right, that happened to us this go around, man. You had that great falling away, especially after 70 AD, man. All right, hey, hey Jeremiah 17 and 4 had to happen. Oh, this is why this goddamn traffic is like this. He's Dumbass bitches done hit each other with their damn cars, man. You know, nigga woman should be driving, man. Just fucking stupid. <laughs> anyway. With that, man, hey, I pray this was edifying. I'm say all praises, honor, and glory be unto Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem or Karkadash. Double honors to the other apostles of great millstone salutations to the elect, wherever you may be. A ball, a ball.